What up, though? I'm Real Spilatro. And it's the Baby Thug at the Trenches, 356MJ. Nigga, we know what the deal is. Yup, and this Real Talk with Real. You know what the fuck we rockin' with. Come on, now. Seven miles. Still in the streets, nah. Came up, now we something to see. Struggle, that would be no stranger, but them eyes we done beat. Yeah. Beat the eyes in front of me, I got eat. eat. Shining and I'm eating, my hustle would be the reason. Set the stage on fire, and I ain't talking treason. I'ma get every dollar till a nigga stop breathing. Struggle ain't a stranger, a whole life been in danger. Maneuver through the curve, move the weight without a trainer. Bro, what's the motherfucking deal, gang? Man, shit, dog. What's been going on? Ain't seen you in a minute, dog. See what's going on with the music and everything. Man, I've been working, working in the studios for sure. I'm doing my motherfucking third thing for sure. Man, you got some new shit coming out, son? Hell yeah, I got a bunch of shit about to drop. I'm really about to drop the tape for this. Hell yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You got a name for it yet? Huh? You got a name for it yet? Hell no, I don't got no name for you. Motherfuckers calling me and shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, bro, so yeah, so tell me what's been going on. Uh, where you grew up at in the city of Detroit, how's it been for you, you know what I'm saying? Shit, man, I'm from Finkel for real. All my people's from Finkel and shit, but I grew up on Seven Mile and shit. I be over here on the Seven Bird. Yeah. Since so I was a young nigga, so, you feel me? Facts. I be in both hoods, but I'm, Finkel, them, I, that's my hood for sure. But Seven Mile, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Seven Mile, yeah, but uh, Finkel, I grew up over there too, though. That's crazy as hell. Yeah, my yeah. Uh, auntie, you, uh, we both know Toast D, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I knew him my whole life uh but yeah um so tell me a little bit about how was it for you growing up in the city though man it was straight as hell though you know my pops you feel me i pretty much had everything i wanted shout me. out og yeah <laughs> i was just a badass kid that didn't listen you know <laughs> like that. hell you yeah there wasn't no bad shit going on you feel me besides you feel me growing up like you feel me i had lost my mans and shit you feel yeah. me? i was there and shit. i was happened. on getting i was gonna ask you about that so yeah uh I um, listened to your song, uh, Pain, and it was talking about losing your man's Martin and everything. Rest in peace to him. Yeah. I know that was real hard for you and shit. So, um, so how you been taking it? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Can you talk a little bit about what happened? But not go, you ain't got to go into too Hell much. Yeah, uh, shit. For real, for real. Shit, it was just some bullshit. Wrong place at the wrong time type mm -hmm. shit, you know? Nothing too major. It was just like some bullshit going, some bullshit that happened. Well, we... Y'all been, uh, I know y'all shot, see him, uh, y'all shot him out a lot of y'all music and everything. Shit, we straight, we be, we, we keep each other strong, you feel me? Uh -huh. We are, everybody, everybody solid and shit. So, yeah. you, we keep, we keep our name in the music that we yeah. got to. Facts. You feel me? Because his name ain't going to forever stay alive. Facts, facts, facts. facts. Uh, that's real. Yeah, bro, so, uh, how long has been, how long you been rapping? Shit, I've been rapping for a couple of years, now, like, for real, for real. Like, I just started, like, rapping for real, for real. Like, taking that shit serious. Uh -huh. like, that's I what seen I it. Do. You feel me? But rapping for real, like, rapping shit, for, like, five, six years. Five, six years? Because I started doing talent shows and shit like that with okay. my mans and shit. Oh, yeah, I be seeing y'all, yeah. Hell, yeah, we was in a group and shit. We... Like, we a group, like, you feel me? Right. My boys, three, five, six, right. shout out to the yeah. already know what the fuck going on. Leads it to my next question. Yeah, like, yeah, you man, I've been looking at all y'all music. You know, I've been hitting to it since day one. You my little bro, so. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really, you know what I'm saying, like all y'all music, as far as like, you know what I'm saying, dreams, no reasons. Like, yeah. I definitely got to ask you about that. How did that come together to get Nisha Pache on there? Oh, man. Shit, huh? <laughs> I wanted to see. He like, man, I hear it because we had a tone. Uh -huh. He a cold ass beat, he, bro. He made the hardest beat. That's our dog. That's okay. our cousin and shit. He made hard ass beats. He cooked it up. We was in the stool. Uh -huh. uh, called Nisha because we had been to her people's type shit. Uh -huh. so, Floss. No, uh, I forgot her other manager name. Okay. But we been to he unk been to her people's. Uh -huh. So he hit him up and then she came to the store and did that joint. Man. Cool. I seen, I'm like, the studio session looked lit, the song going crazy, almost at 100,000 views. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I'm like, Lil Bro, I'm going up off that. So what's in store next? Like, do y'all got any, like, group project dropping or something? Because I know y'all got a lot of different songs, like Cold Hearted and stuff like that on the internet going crazy. Like, y'all got any, like, real project dropping, like, all y'all together or? Uh, shit, we just dropped, they, uh, we just dropped the tape. Y'all did? Wh which one? Uh, shit, y'all niggas on a mission too, for real. Y'all niggas on a mission too. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Is it out on all platforms? Everybody be able to go get yeah, it? That shit out on everything, for real. Go get that shit. Yeah, everything. okay. Okay. You got any solo music coming soon? I seen the, uh, you know what I'm saying, Pain, My Thoughts video. 
stuff like that. And he definitely going crazy on him. I'm like, I know he got to have some solo project coming soon. Man, I'm about to drop a banging ass tape, man. About to get that shit going for real. Okay. Hell yeah. You say you ain't come up with a name yet? Man, I ain't came up with a name yet, but I know that bitch going to be hard. I got some hard ass songs, though, so I'm about to yeah. go through those bitches and see what's up. Yeah. When you plan on dropping? You want to drop it like around the summer or something? Around like spring and shit when all this shit clear, we'll be outside. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's it's up. It's some turn up music for sure, but this some, some, you feel me, some shit on that bitch for you to ride to. Uh, sure. So how's it been like with the pandemic? Like, did it slow y'all down? Like, how man, was y'all able to- you know that shit, they slow those boys yeah. down, man. <laughs> we was out here. Hey, period. That's when, that was the best time, you know? Yeah. It was the worst time. Yeah, it's just like, it kind of slowed everything down as far as like being able to do real shows out here in the streets and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah. uh... Like, for sure. pe people like us, you know what I'm saying, we just been taking that time, using it wisely, and you know what I'm saying, to try to help us out, like, more within the industry and learning more crafts and perfecting more things, like learning how to do beats and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot, a, lot of people took, a lot of people took advantage of that time being at home and everything. You know what I'm saying? But uh, y'all got any uh, plans to like go um, out of town doing shows when everything up and back up? Uh, shit, I supposed to be uh, doing this show in Ohio with T's and he supposed to be out there and shit. Oh, okay. When is that coming up? Uh, February 26th. 26th. Okay, yeah. We might have to ride out there with you on that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, tell me a little bit about your family life and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's just you, your mom, pa, sister. Shit, I got, uh, shit, my people's good. I got a sister. Two bre three brothers. Yeah. No, I got two sisters, three brothers. You know, uh -huh. I love my people, my pops, my mom, you know. Yeah. Everybody in granny. Shout out his pops, Big Drugs. He like the OG yeah. in the hood. Big OG, man. Shout <laughs> out Big Drugs. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. But yeah, we got uh a lot more stuff coming, you know what I'm saying? I I definitely been fucking with your music from day one, little bro. You already know that. You know you got all the support from this way. Hell yeah. You know what I'm Look, saying? I fuck with you more, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, like I say, I like the, uh, the My Thoughts video. Where did y'all shoot that at? Uh, we shot that bitch. Uh, we shot that bitch like around the corner in the hood. Somewhere. Straight up. I, I was like, I thought it looked for me. I, I couldn't put a finger on it and everything. Yeah, we shot that bitch in the hood somewhere. We was around this bitch somewhere. Uh, <laughs> shit. I think it was like in the parking lot. You feel me? I got a dog ass camera. His name JC Hard. JC Film. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm hip. I'm hip. Yeah, he yeah. hard as fuck. That's what's up, bro. So you, you got a girl, bro? Nah, man. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying no or yeah, but no. Nah. Oh, shit. You, I ain't getting enough for Valentine's Day. She ain't getting enough. So. Shit, I don't know who he is right now. Dang. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, it's a crazy life when you're living in that rap world and everything. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Everything good. <laughs> yeah, it do. It do. You can't, you can't let it do it though. I've been doing this rap shit for a minute. I ain't never let it fuck my shit up. So I'm like, I be trying to, like I say, it's my little bro. So I be trying to show them what's going on out here. We definitely been leading them the right way. You see, looking at it. I remember when he was just riding bikes down the street, him and all little niggas in the neighborhood. Now they all going crazy right now. Hell yeah, <laughs> Iced up, going nuts. Yeah. But yeah, we over here. Uh, tell them where we at right now, bro. Yeah, we on the motherfucking seven. We on Frisbee right now. Uh-huh. Walking we, up Frisbee, you know what I'm saying, over in the 17. Yeah, we just ride our motherfucking bikes up here, chilling, uh -huh. trying to talk to other hoes, ride <laughs> down the block and shit, you know? Young nigga, though, I was a young nigga, so everybody else older, I was on the pegs, yeah. talking crazy, no shirt on. What yeah. up, baby? What you on? <laughs> <laughs> you know I was on that. Yeah. Yeah, man, but real talk real, we getting out here, man. We going... You know what I'm saying? To people neighborhoods, we talking with them, we walking through the neighborhood, we finding out what's going on, talking about controversial stuff. So that leads me to my next question right now. How do you feel about the politics in Detroit hip hop music? Do you feel like only certain artists of certain uh, levels only uh, work with artists of that same level? Do you feel like everybody works collectively? Like, how do you feel about the overall Detroit scene as far I as how everybody like is? If niggas fuck with you and you a real nigga, they gonna fuck with you. And if you, and if you feel me, if they want they paper, they want they paper too. Yeah. So niggas gonna do what they wanna do regardless of shit. Uh -huh. If they fuck with you, they fuck with you, they gonna do that shit for sure. Niggas be showing love in the city for sure. Yeah. But then we gotta come together more too. We definitely do, man. Yeah. That's a, that's a real response. Cause like I said, I feel, I feel the same way to an extent. I feel like the Detroit politics, it is a lot with it. Like, uh, people work with who they want to work with because there's been plenty of people in the city I've contacted through whatever way they tell you to contact them to try to either get beats or videos and sometimes you don't get responses. You don't never really 
take it to heart and nothing like that. You know, yeah, people yeah. be busy and stuff like that. Maybe got overlooked, yeah. but like I say, uh, that's what real talk of real is. I'm trying to help bridge the gap too, like bringing everybody closer, like working together. So I will be interviewing different people. He my first interview. Uh, first interview. You know what I'm saying? I have to tap in on my you know what I'm saying? You already you know. know. You already know yeah, what it yeah. is. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, we're going to be bringing y'all more. We're going to be bringing y'all uh, business people, uh, DJs, producers, chefs. You know what I'm saying? Creative designers, fashion designers. It's gonna be a lot coming with Real Talk with Real. Sure. All right, bro. So yeah, uh, I know it's a touchy situation, but uh, I wanted to uh, ask you like, how's it been? I understand you lost uh, one of your best friends. Man, what was yeah. that about a year or two ago? Hell um, yeah. It was a crazy situation that happened Watch on out. Seven Mile. Um, you want to talk about it a little bit and let everybody. Uh, no, how you how you been holding up and what's been going on since that all occurred? Shit for real, my man, bro. That was my baby, bro. Shit, he Tell had passed a couple bro. uh yeah. past couple years ago. And shit, it wasn't uh, it was some bullshit. You feel me? Some bullshit. Niggas shouldn't have been around. You feel me? We was just chilling. It wasn't uh shit happening. We was changing a tire and some shit happened. Shit, man, that shit was crazy. That shit scared the fuck out of us when they called us and shit when Marv came over and shit and told us what had happened and everything. I'm like. It's a crazy yeah, situation, so everybody been holding up, and do y'all got any plans on any new music coming soon? Like, does he have any unreleased music or anything like that? Man, y'all can't get that shit, though. Damn, y'all can't get bro shit. He yeah. hard. <laughs> bro hard, gang. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. yeah, that's our boy, though. We been holding up pretty strong, though. You feel me? We keep everybody strong and everybody everybody stay cool, so yep. everything, everything, for real. Yep, y'all stand together. That's what it's about, man. Rest in peace to Mari. Uh, that was a crazy situation, but it'd be crazy uh, sometimes with this life in Detroit. Man. Stuff be happening. Um, you can you uncontrollable situations all the time. We just try to stay together, move forward, stay positive, stay out the way. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Knows, man, for real. The streets out here crazy for real. Yep. So uh, how many is left. it? How many of you uh, is it of y'all in y'all group? It's, it's about four or five. She, she stayed out in the street and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's about, uh, shit, it was four of us in that bitch. Originally, it was like five. You mm -hmm. feel me? But niggas, you know, shit. You know, niggas always got to right. do their own thing and shit. But, you know, everything, everything. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. I know, like I say, I know that was a touchy situation. That, that, that kind of fucked us up, too, and everything. And I wanted to say, too, uh, long live Triz. Yeah, bro. Hey, long, that's a demon, boy. Man, bro. Yeah. Uh, little bro was another one from our neighborhood from we lost last show. year. Hell yeah. Uh, definitely was a, a true tremendous loss. Like, I ain't felt nothing like that. Like in a minute, like that one, yeah. that one kind of hit me kind of hard. Yeah, niggas hard for sure. But we gonna, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, over here in our hood, we stay together. You know what I'm saying? Like anything that happen, I make sure my little bros be good. Uh, yeah. Trey's little brothers is good. Matt good. Yeah, yeah, you so, know. Marv, all them yeah, good. Yeah, shout out to my boy Draco, nigga Moore, Big Moore, <laughs> my nigga Tease and Pee Wee. You know what's yeah. going on, man. Yeah. You know where the fuck we at, man. Yeah. So tell everybody where they can follow you at on uh, the internet and everything on Instagram, Facebook. You got any shit. of that? Uh, y'all can follow me on the gram at three five six MJ and shit on the gram for sure. At Twitter, y'all can follow me at billion dollar MJ. Yep, get, you know what I'm saying? Get lit. You know what I'm saying? That's the first episode of Real Talk for Real. We out.